here we are back with a Q&A as yesterday on stories if you guys have any questions how is life with two babies I mean I have to say it's pretty intense but actually I really really love the vibe of having two kids I don't know why but it's, I don't feel like it's much harder than one because another question was also what do you think is harder from like zero to one child or from one to zero mm -hmm. one to two and I honestly think from zero to one because our life was so different before like constantly traveling and um, not taking care of anyone, just ourselves so I felt like the step from zero to one was much bigger than from one to two No, I love it, like in general <clears throat> I love it a lot, like I like my uh, I love my life with uh, two kids uh, but it is intense, so for people that are uh, planning to have kids I was planning to say don't rush it, but on the other hand, I also feel like don't wait too long. Yeah, no, it's um, hard. It, it, I think you always have to find a new balance once you have kids. How was your labor? Mm -hmm. And I haven't told the story yet, or I haven't spoke about my labor this time. Um, with me, it also took a very long time and a lot of long time of contractions, and yeah, that took a very long time. But after I delivered, we were on our way home in like two hours. Mm -hmm. And this time it was a little different. I also started getting this traction, contractions 11 11 in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, we brought me to your parents and then we started walking around because I didn't want them to stop. After they kept coming, we went to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything from there went actually well, right? Mm -hmm. Contractions were very painful, of course. Uh, I asked for an epidural because I didn't do it with me, but this time I was like, yes, I want to do an epidural. But it took forever. Uh, they kept stretching it, like, mm -hmm. oh, he's on his way. And yeah, yeah, we asked for him. He's gonna come uh, within 10 minutes, I believe. Uh, 20 yeah. minutes, 20 minutes. And then after one hour, still not there. <laughs> yeah. And then suddenly, and then he came in, and then he was like taking so much time preparing for the shot. You know, he was like yeah. laying out his needles. And I was and like, hurry up! I mean, I need it. it felt almost felt like it was on purpose. I don't know why. That he was like taking so much time yeah. for preparing the shot. At some point, finally, he was able to give you the shot. Yeah, but then it went wrong. Like he didn't put it on the right wrong. like three times. You have to sit still and bend over like this. But when you have a contraction, you can't really sit still. No, you can't. Mm -hmm. So I had to do this all the time, and it was just horrible. And then uh, he said, "Okay, it's done," but. 20 minutes later, I uh, felt like the push, the pushing contractions, I think that's how you say it. So I already had to start pushing, so the epidural never had the time to start working. And also after I delivered, it never worked, because I never felt like, um, they say you can't feel your legs anymore and anything, and I still had a lot of pain and I still felt everything. So it didn't work, but June came arrived and started, that was great yeah that was great she started crying immediately yeah. i had her on my breast i breastfed her and then uh, i was just laying there and i saw lawrence's face and yeah. no. <laughs> the face of the how do you say it um, yeah, yeah i don't know the nurse the the, the, the one yeah I don't know. the baby nurse or like the baby nurse the person like, that uh, was helping with the delivery yeah she was like hmm it's a little bit much of blood that you're losing they st they kept weighing it and after a while it was like we came to a point that I felt a little weak and mm -hmm. all together it was almost like two liters mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it is in English yeah. but a lot so they said we have to uh, go in the surgery room and make sure everything is emptied out so Lawrence had to stay with June and that was very hard because we didn't know how long it was gonna take and June was hungry so she was crying crying and Lawrence was just sitting there in your room waiting for me to come back yeah. and they said it was gonna take an hour maybe an hour and a half but after three hours I was still not back no. so after surgery I still kept losing blood so I had to stay there in the surgery room but I asked for Lawrence to come and um, to come with June because I really wanted to see them but I couldn't really talk I was like very weak at that point like so I just she, asked yeah. for like yeah. you were not there I no, was there I was, I was coming in with June and I saw all the doctors like 
kind of like stressing a little bit so I got stressed and nervous as well and I had to wear like this whole blue suit like you know what I mean like antibacterial and I was looking at Romy she was only shaking I couldn't make any contact and they told us like the surgery I uh, didn't have the, 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 the effect they wanted Romy didn't stop losing, uh, losing blood yeah. And I was like with this baby crying on me and you were not responding. So at that point I was kind of like wow. <laughs> kind of like stressed. And then they, they decided like very urgent you needed like a donor blood. Is that your Yeah, I think you called it like a blood transfusion. They did two bags and then at after first. Two, at first and then I started getting more um, alive is a weird word to say but yeah. I felt more alive again um, so then I could go back to the delivery room and uh, where my mom was and his mom was came to the hospital as well what well, was super great because was yeah, great, yeah it was a stressful <laughs> situation yeah, yeah, yeah. and once I was back in the delivery room uh, they did like a blood test and everything and they decided to give one more bag ex extra to make sure I have a better recovery once I'm home. So when I went home, I was very weak and yeah, a little like dizzy because you yeah you just your iron is very low and you lost so much blood. So yeah. it was hard coming home and Mint came home and I wanted to carry her and yeah. I wanted to uh, be active again, but I couldn't really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for you, it was very stressful because he was concerned about the kids, but also about me now. Mm -hmm. uh, because they said when I go to the bathroom or take a shower, I can't be by myself. So it was a little bit of a stressful start, mm -hmm. but I recovered very well and mm -hmm. I haven't really felt dizzy at all at home. So I'm very happy that my body picked yeah. it up and yeah, yeah, that was the story pretty much. I got a lot of questions like, how did you get back in shape? Uh, after two kids and honestly I didn't I did a story about it yesterday um, because I had to take it slow I have two kids now so it's very hard to find the time for yourself and to like work out and make healthy food do all the self-care that makes it all like work mm -hmm. and so I have I I'm not back in shape yet I'm not rushing it because I know I'm only three months postpartum so yeah, I just started to slowly get back into working out and I can tell I haven't worked out in a while because I'm super, super sore and Lawrence is helping me with making healthy food because <coughs> that helps. I, mean, I can imagine after like uh, being pregnant for nine months and not being able to work out and then have such delivery where you have to recover from, you also need to take the time. You don't, you don't want to rush it, I feel like. Yeah. How do you feel after birth? And I have to say, I struggle with a lot of headaches and I have an appointment with the doctor tomorrow to see if it was from the epidural or it's maybe because I lost so much blood and my iron is maybe still low so I'm gonna check on it but besides that I'm feeling great mm -hmm. I think June is a much better sleeper than Mint ever was a lot of people are asking about our wedding mm -hmm. and we haven't started planning it because we were so busy with the house and then with June and now we have two kids and we're trying to find our balance back so um, I think this is a new thing that we're probably gonna start working on soon. 2024, 20, in the summer, around the summer, maybe a little bit after. Yeah, but we have to see if it's still possible with like destinations and like, um, yeah. places to yeah, do it. Yeah, I feel it. like we really have to make a We might be a little uh, too late. With a wedding planner as soon as possible. Yeah, to start. so we'll keep you guys updated. How has having two kids affected your all's relationship? Uh, I mean, in some ways, it definitely affects your relationship. Yeah. Of course, you don't have that much time for each other now, mm -hmm. and we can we don't really have date nights or like days where we spend the whole day together. Mm -hmm. But I also really enjoy being with the kids together, mm -hmm. and I think we're very fortunate to do a lot of stuff together. So we we are still together a lot, a lot yeah. together. So it's not like we. Um, it's a lot of time, but like fully together, just us, we don't really no. have that often. But because we have had that so intense the last couple of years, mm -hmm. I feel like we have some fuel. Yeah, it's just phases, <laughs> it's just phases, through. right? Would you like your daughter to be model? Honestly, <laughs> no. And that's not because I don't love my job, I loved it, but only because Lawrence was there. Um, because before I felt very lonely 
and um, it's a lonely job you travel the world all by yourself and it's a hard world so yeah. you get a lot of like um, how do you say that um, rejection rejections I feel like for, for it's not yeah. always the easiest for your self-esteem so I feel like with me it went very well because Lawrence was there and he kept me grounded he went traveling with me all over the world and I never really felt lonely so we were in it together if she wants to model of course I'll, I'll let her but <coughs> yeah. I don't I'm not gonna push her in any way to to do stuff to like do that. stuff like that no we spend the rest of your lives in the Netherlands I'm not sure I'm I not think sure so but the thing is see. Like right now, Mint is two years old. Whenever she turns four years old, that's the time when she has to go to primary school at some point, right? Or between mm -hmm. four and five or something. Mm -hmm. So at that point, we, we really want to be based in one location and not having to move like yeah. multiple times during her years in primary school because she will lose friends and I feel like it's not really great for her, right? Yeah. But we are still doubting it if where we currently live is the place where we want Min to go to primary school. And Jordan goes to primary school. Yeah, we're still debating if yeah. this is the right spot. But for now, I feel like this is amazing with our family being that close and That's having a backyard. Absolutely. Yeah. What did he but maybe had? we miss the city vibes. We always we used to live in New York and then in Amsterdam, and it was so easy to like go out and grab a coffee, do a workout class, and go somewhere for lunch. Just the vibe of the of, of the city, exactly. and that's what I miss a little bit here. We're still debating. Yeah. How often do you go to the office? So we just got a new office for nature, and I do have to say I haven't been there much. Lawrence goes, I would say twice a week, three times a week. But it's been great. Uh, we have a very nice team right now and a lot of new launches coming soon. For example, this jewelry, is it up already? I think that one is. I also really like this bracelet when I put it over my sleeves now. And I have these rings. Um, this one is new. This one is new. Um, and then the necklaces and the earrings and the t-shirts. They're new, but they're, they're not, not out yet. yet. Coming up a lot of new products that we've been working on, so that's very exciting. And I think we'll be ending the Q&A here, no? I think we're gonna pick up the kids. We're gonna pick up the kids and... Uh, make some dinner. Make some dinner. Alright. See you Bye. later, guys.